hey guys what's up and welcome in this tutorial i am going to teach you how to use coded mail what is coded mail coded mail it's a simple email sender for small project and it has been developed by matthew msingati and for some strange reason that happened to be me so when can you use um coded mail or what is it for okay more often than not you will be creating a small project um, side project or maybe even a bigger project but in the project you want a proof of concept for your clients obviously you can't jump into a paid email sender from the get-go because the client just wants to see the flow and how things work things like maybe email verification and OTPs, okay, that you are going to send via email. So coded mail can help you to do that. Obviously, as the project uh, gets bigger, you can maybe start to opt for maybe more complicated or more advanced email sender. I have designed and created coded mail to solve my own problem, okay? So I've kept it simple and i have a beginner in mind with that out of the way let's get into it so um the first thing that you need to do you need to have an api key okay so let's quickly do that okay um also if you want uh, the link this link will be in the description so that you can click and come here as well okay so you can just uh, click here so let's get um the free api key so you will come here and this is the registration so in order for you to register you need to give me the name of the application or give the system the name of the application and your email okay um let's say um, first of all i've got an email here that i usually use okay for other things so i'm going to use uh, this email as you can see if we refresh here um these are the emails that i have received okay so let's paste this email here okay so you will paste your email here and then let's say maybe we are uh, creating an application which is Megbox. i'm not sure what will that be okay so the the name of the application is Met is Megbox. so when we register here um an api key will be sent to this email and it's the one that we are um, going to use where am i lost in my own code let's see oh in my own space where am i i want to be on the documentation oh okay now i see let me just copy this my apologies about that okay let me just copy this and then i can go to the documentation okay so the api key it's the one that we are going to use here okay so let's go ahead and generate the api key i'm happy with my application name it's macbox and i am msingati okay let's register guys and see <clears throat> my apologies about that okay uh, api key sent to your email that means we are done registering so let's just go to our emails and check as you can see guys here is an email uh, coded mail in case you are asking how did we send this email we have used coded mail to send this email okay so this is a proof that coded mail is working so as you can see guys i'm um, check here this is just a simple email okay not complicated it's not a newsletter okay it just got um a header and a timestamp when this email was sent in case maybe you are send sending multiple emails um your client can some sort of uh, what can i say differentiate um between these emails in terms of the timestamp and thank you for using coded mail this is your api key where is your api key here is the api key so this is what we need in order to use that and this service is for free i created it for small developers okay maybe as time goes by it might have an advanced version with um important features okay but for now it's free guys for you to use okay so um as you can see guys we need to for now let's not copy this okay because there are some things that we need to do okay let's just go to the documentation we will uh 
come back um, here, okay? Also, let's minimize this, okay? So, as you can see, guys, we are done with this part. So, let's go to the documentation, okay? So, the idea here, guys, okay, um, this is just a piece of code, okay? Um, I forgot I should have written here. Uh, you must first install Axios, okay? So I am going to do that. Maybe when you're coming to this video, um, obviously I would have already um, some sort of updated this documentation, okay? We must first install Axios, okay? So the idea here, guys, is that um, I am some sort of giving you an interface. What do I mean by an interface? Um, some sort of um, a way to structure your code okay for instance okay you are going to have this um method which is send coded mail okay you can change this uh, to your own name if you want to let's say uh, send megbox mail you can change it okay but the most important thing is that you are going to keep um the the dependencies or some sort of the 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 parameters okay you are going to keep the parameters okay so let's say sometime in the future you get an advanced um, email sender with some cool features what you can do you can just come here and change the implementation okay as you can see guys you can just uh, change the implementation send the same email the header the subject um, here this is the api key that i demand as a developer and you can um send the, the body as well so what i'm trying to say is this is just a piece of code that you can modify as time goes by if you like to keep this method in your code you can just keep it okay and then come here delete all of this and do um and implement differently okay maybe call the um, the api system that you are using now the email sender that you are using now but in case that is not clear you will see when we are implementing so what do we want to do we want to send an email okay so let's uh, do that so the first thing that we need to do we need to copy this okay it's my first time to test this um so i hope uh, everything has been copied so we are going to um use this here okay so when we are registering in case you don't know um this is a series a to-do application that i'm busy with in my uh youtube channel so you can maybe come and watch it here okay uh, let me just uh, show you okay as you can see guys this is uh the series okay so let's say now we want um to send some sort of a welcoming email when somebody registers and we are going to do that with um coded mail okay so let's quickly do that okay so the first part um or the first option that we are going to do we are going to send email on the client okay so let's just go to this code is this the code yes so let's say um under our helpers uh, do i have a folder helpers here um not really okay let's just create a folder help us here because this is not a hook uh let's just say help us okay let's just create a folder help us and let's see what's the name of this file helper.ts you can name this file anything but um for now let's just name it helper.ts okay uh, let's see create this file helper.ts all right and we've already copied uh, that code and everything has been copied okay so as you can see guys let's see if are there any errors or squiggly lines okay okay no squiggly lines okay in my case um i think i already have axios in um what can i say uh, in this project okay so in your case if you don't have axios let me just give you um some sort of the whole information okay let's say axios so that you can know where to install axios npm okay and also how to use it okay um let's so you can just uh, come here copy this npm npm i axios um then you will go to your terminal and just install it okay npm i axios and install it so in case somewhere here you are having some squiggly lines it means that you have not installed axios so 
after you uh, run this command then you won't have any errors okay and also um this is typescript okay so when i was building this i i was already using typescript so um this is not a javascript okay maybe if you want to make it a pure javascript maybe you can remove the types and it's going to work but that is outside the scope of this okay so um that is it guys i think so okay so this um what can i say this application okay or this method just hits this endpoint okay just hits this endpoint and it sends um your information if you've got an api key then everything will work so as you can see guys we are done okay uh we are also exporting send call an email and that is it guys so let's continue um where is my documentation okay so now the implementation as you can see guys you need to uh import this okay uh, in terms of importing it okay when i created um this api to be honest with you i was integrating it with my own library which is met component it's some sort of an integral part of it but as i am thinking deep about it i ask myself if somebody wants only to send the email and they don't want the met component okay imagine met components it's very big okay it's um some it's bigger it has got a lot of files okay so people will struggle so i was like let me just give the community this code okay and and that is it so here in terms of importing okay you are going to import it from this file from this location rather okay from this location okay so you first um import it and then at step number two <clears throat> my apologies about that uh you declare some sort of a method okay an async method okay this must be an async method so in our case let's just um give this method a name which is a send email okay so what we are going to do here we are going to go where we are registering remember first i'm going to show you how to implement it on the browser on the client side okay which i assume most people will use it on the client side okay and then i'll show you how to use it on the server side to be honest there is no difference okay it's just the same function okay so let's go um on register okay so now let me check my code under auth let's go to register and this is register okay so this is my code for registration okay so i'm going to create an email here as you can see guys this is the page and right under the page i'm creating um an async method okay so let's just type here const uh, send email async arrow function <clears throat> apologies about that and that is it guys okay as you can see this is just um an async um uh email method okay <clears throat> apologies about that and then um let's go back here and check this method will have to take okay um will have to take this dependency which is the email data okay just copy this as it is okay copy this as it is it will have to take this email data you are going to feed it okay you are going to feed this email data to this okay um here in terms of the email uh this is the email that you are going to use you are going to change this email okay um that's why there is this error here so you need to attend this okay uh, to put your own email and then let's go back here guys as you can see guys what we can do we can receive this email okay we can receive this email i think we will uh, have to type it as well okay uh, i think so but for now let's just uh, receive email data here and see um da, 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 da. let's see so let's just receive email data um is that the case is that what i want to do yes okay email data okay um let's just quickly create this type guys okay let's just quickly create this type okay email data type okay since this is typescript okay let me just do this paste this as it is and then just remove this okay 
my apologies about that so as you can see guys instead of um putting the actual values i'm just going to put types everything it's a string so this should be a simple type okay as you can see guys okay let me just copy this delete and paste okay this uh i should have done before the tutorial but my apologies about that so as you can see guys so this is the type so we are telling typescript that we are going to receive email data that is of this type okay as you can see now this um error is gone okay so here remember we are going to put um the email that we will be sending to okay so this means that let me put my other email okay and gmail.com this is my other email okay which is i will be sending it to okay so in the header um our application is magbox okay that's the name of our application that we registered here maybe uh we should have named our application um to do okay because actually um the application that will be sending what can i say the email it's to do so please in your case um just avoid this confusion because now the email will be sent by what can i say by mailbox but the application is what is to do so please uh um just um what can i say uh give the correct uh, application name okay so i am done with that um and then uh i think this is a let's say welcome matthew okay here i know i'm sending the email to matthew okay here you can put uh whatever okay um that is the header and the subject uh it's welcome okay okay here you can put whatever you want to put so this is the important part um this is the important part um i think this is an old api okay i think this key is an old api i don't i no longer have it so it's not going to work um let's see let's see let's see let's go to here and let's copy this api okay let's copy this api code come back here and let's delete this okay let's delete this and let's paste the new one okay remember the name of the application is macbox okay cool and then obviously here guys you can write whatever that you want to write okay i'm going to leave this part as it is okay um what you can do also here you can put your html tags so i'm going to leave this part as it is and then we will see how it looks like on the email okay um i think uh, that is all for this part okay so as you can see this um what can i say this uh, method is expecting to receive this data okay that is cool and then let's go to the definition um let's go to the definition uh like not the definition but the body okay what is in there let's see how do you use this okay so now that you are already inside an async method you need to await the response okay that means you are going to call um da, 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 da. Oh, okay you are going to call um send coded mail and also pass the data okay that you have received from here okay um as you can see guys um it looks like yeah my code it's not like well organized but please understand this guys okay um i have been creating this for i think for three days now sleepless nights and 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 so maybe i was excited to publish it okay but but it's straightforward okay i hope you are following me so what we need to do now we need to copy this as it is okay in fact everything we can copy this from here step number four okay as is okay and then we are almost done and then we are going to put step number four here okay so as you can see guys now this is um needs uh what can i say this need your helper okay so let's just come here and press control and hit space as you can see we are going to import this at what at helpers okay 
Okay, as you can see, guys, we're importing this at helpers and we are passing this email data. Okay, so we are receiving email data here and we are passing it here and then we are going to get a response as you can see and then from then we have to test if the email is successful and take action as you wish okay so i'm telling you here you can test and then take action as you wish okay so um here typescript is telling us that this is possibly undefined of which that is true guys okay um that is true let's see so meaning that here i'm testing if it's still undefined or there is an error then do this else that means if all goes well do this okay so i trust that from here you can handle this okay so i think we are done guys okay so we are going to check on the on the logs okay which is here if everything is working well okay let's just uh, double check do we have the api key which is the most important thing yes okay so meaning that now um when is this method going to be executed okay let's see when is this going to run okay let's run this after you are done with the registration okay um so when is that so in my case here i've got form mutation okay uh, form mutation as you can see so um so what i'm going to do um let's check on 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 form submit as you can see here i am mutating okay so let me not mutate because i don't really um want to create the record necessarily okay but i want to get the information uh from here okay i want to get the information which is the email of the user let's see okay where is the email da, 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 your email so i want to get the email of the user and use it okay obviously guys getting the email of the user it's some sort of um, what can i say an an unnecessary step okay um meaning that i have already put my email here as a test for you to see where is the email data as you can see guys so if you wish you can really really practically grab this email from here that is something that i think it's when you it, it's within your capability to do it okay so for now to keep the video simple i am just going to call this method and pass the details i'm going to call this method and pass the email details and that's it for now okay so let's go to the form method okay as you can see guys here we are mutating so let's just call send email let's see why it looks like i don't have it is it uh, send email my apologies about that okay here is it let's see where we have defined it is it locally inside something nope it's not inside something it's not inside something okay that means i can copy it as it is okay i can copy it as it is and paste it here okay and then um da -da 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 -da, let's see send email where i am here i'm on form submit okay so let's see send email okay um based on how i've done this i am assuming that the email is declared but its value is never read okay let's see where is it okay it looks like it's inside something okay let's let's check what is inside page okay i don't think this is supposed to be here guys okay i don't think so okay let's just check what might have happened okay as you can see guys now um this we can we can access it okay we just need to check yes there is no other error okay my mistake guys okay there was um that kelly brace which was there which was not supposed to be there that's why we were not able to get this so as you can see now that we can get it um we need to pass um email data here okay we need to pass email data okay so this means that when we press the button we are not going to what can i say we're not going to register the user necessarily okay we're just going to pass this email data the email data that we are passing if we go to the definition it has got the email okay 
um, maybe um, in the next tutorial I will show you how to get this email from here and send it instead okay um, because if I can do that now that means this tutorial will be longer unnecessarily so guys it looks like we are done okay so let's just uh, recap make sure that your email data you feed it with the email okay and also change this information accordingly step number two make sure that you've got the API key and step number three you put whatever message that you want to put here and then in our case let's just type here welcome matthew or hey matthew please try coded mail okay and that is it guys so let's check um are these errors relating this is not important so if this is already running i think we are good to go okay so let's just um inspect on the server okay let's just inspect here on the server so that we can see what is happening and also which email am i going to da, 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 which email is going to receive it's this one let's go here okay this is the email which is the other email of mine is the one that is going to receive okay okay so as you can see i've got some messages from coded mail so now we don't have any message so let's go here guys and test okay um obviously here we have to put some information because this form won't send won't allow us to to send anything if it's not like this so let's check the network tab and let's click register Okay, as you can see, guys, okay, we are hitting index, uh, index.php and it looks like to me we got the response email sent successfully. Okay, and then let's go to my emails here. As you can see, guys, okay, so now here we've got Magbox. Okay, what is Magbox? Okay, Magbox is the application name that we we put here okay because this api knows this as the application name okay so as you get that's why i said to you uh maybe a user is expecting to get information from to do app okay so that one please guys make sure you you some sort of you make it right okay so as you can see guys so this is the app name so this api okay knows that the key that you have sent there um corresponds to uh macbox okay so let's just um click here okay welcome matthew this is my header this is the timestamp and this is the body hey matthew please try coded mail and i think that is all guys um that summarizes um the this tutorial okay so meaning that if you've got your api key let's go back here and check what we've done so what you need to do um you must have the api key this one if you've got the api key and you've got this email data like this and then you are good to go you can send the emails okay so if you want to um you can use this on a server side okay the the implementation is exactly the same so if i was showing you this on the server side believe me this is what i was going to do i was going to copy this as it is or maybe i might as well do that okay i was going to copy this as it is okay this as it is check here okay copy this as is without changing it and i'm i'm going to go to my register endpoint where is it uh, api register endpoint okay um let's see register endpoint here is it and then um let's see let's see let's see okay um let's see where can i run this okay um i think um this can run anywhere okay we don't really have to some sort of run it somewhere okay as long as it's 
right here okay let's see as soon as we receive all of this information we are going to run this okay and then what we are going to do let's import this um method let's import this method as you can see we are importing it and then from there i'm not sure if i'm interested on continuing to register uh to register this user but that's not a train smash we can just leave it like that and what else we need to call this method okay because now we have defined it but we didn't call it so how do we call it we just come here and call it like this and pass email data okay email data okay so let's just make some changes here okay uh let's just type here from server this is going to be from server and then um i'm just going to type my language okay just to teach you something okay this is molo matthew it means hi matthew molo is to greet as you can see this m is not lightweight okay it's it's heavy okay it uses your barathon okay these are the things that comes with different languages okay our language is very heavy okay so this m is not like light mo it's molo as you can see it's got that barathon so i hope i've taught you one thing about uh, is it closer uh, south african language in case you want to know my language it's not as famous as other languages but um it's Tre trevor noah's mother tongue okay trevor noah's mother it's a closer woman okay enough about that guys what that was even not necessary okay so as you can see guys um we've got this greeting molo matthew which is hi matthew and we are still passing the same api key and here um let me just change the message uh let's say teaching you ec posa which is my language and that is it so now um at the moment our front end doesn't continue to hit the back end remember we have disabled it where is our front end uh yes this is our front end it doesn't hit it okay let's go back where um submit okay form submit as you can see now it must do that and at the same time um must it send us two emails okay is it necessary let's try it guys okay let's see what if we are hitting this two times i'm just testing yeah let's just test it okay um let's see so it's going to hit this for the first time um and then convert this data that's not uh, much important and then it's going to hit the end point that the end point is going to mutate so meaning that when it gets to the end point where is the register end point when it gets in here okay it's going to declare okay uh, this email data and it's going to send me another email so let's see if we are going to get two emails okay click save and what else let's go to the test what i'm going to do let me just delete this one okay let me just delete this email as you can see guys so let's go back away let's go back here okay so let's say this register is is this testing testing yes okay demo let's just say demo 56 password we don't really have to uh, what can i say know the password let's just watch the network okay let's just watch the network as we hit that endpoint watch the network as, as you can see guys we're hitting it we're hitting register at the same time we're hitting php the first one it has sent the email which is the one on the on the browser on the client we know that that one it was successful and let's see um okay now i'm lost i don't know. okay this application has redirected okay so now i might not have um, everything that i want to but let's just check guys okay it's important to be here we are hitting the index it's it has been sent this is another index okay this one doesn't really have something that's not important guys okay that's not important but i was just checking uh, showing you how do you check the the internet connections and request and other things okay 
so um it looks like this didn't show any error so i'm assuming um everything went well but if everything uh, would have gone well suppose we are in the dashboard instead of being locked out but anyway that is a story for another day so let's just come here and check which message we have received it looks like guys um, everything went well we've got the first message um, let's look at the timestamp is will there be any difference this is 9:42. i don't think it will as you can see now it's 9:44. So this is 944. Let's see what this one says. Welcome, Matthew. This is the the, the client one, which is the browser one. Hi, Matthew. Please try code it mail. And then let's check the second one. See, we've got the second one. Molo Matthew, which is here. I'm teaching you my language. Okay. And from the server, uh, teaching is closer. I was supposed to say teaching you is a closer. I'm, I'm not sure English is not my mother tongue. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, but you get the point, guys. Okay, that's what I like about us as human beings. We can get the point across. Okay, in any language. Okay, if maybe um a, a, a non-white guy or a non-English speaking person wants to explain an accident. Okay, the first thing that you need to do, just look in his hands and look in his face. Okay, the facial expression and the hands, they will communicate the message. And then this is what they will say. There was this car coming from the left and this car coming from the right and they go kaboom. So as you can see, guys, point communicated. Okay, um, enough about that, guys. I hope you can uh, see this and also I hope you will find this um, um, API useful. Okay, I created this API to solve my own problem, if I can be honest. Okay, I was asking myself, um, where can I get um, a simple api just for sending emails okay it doesn't have to be robust okay because i don't want it i don't want to scale with it okay let's say somebody asked me to um create an application that will send some notifications okay as you know guys all these applications they are sending us email i'm a content creator i'm using youtube youtube keeps on sending me emails not like advertising emails but to tell me about my channel if i've got this notification youtube will send me an, an email to say that somebody says this udemy they will send me email about my stats figma they will send me email so as you can see guys now emails are important okay in your application i don't think you can avoid them okay i don't think so okay so i was like isn't there an application that is free that can help me to do that okay so as you can see guys here you just give me your app name and your email and that's it okay and you register and then um whenever you want to 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 use uh to send an email you can just use your your api key and that is it Okay, let's go to the documentation. So whenever you want to use, you can just use your, your API key and, and that is it. So, and it's completely free. Obviously, um, this is the first version of it. I'm going to work on it. Okay, so that um, the end goal is, so I'm not sure if you sub stack, uh, sub stack. I think the end goal, this is where I'm going. Okay this is where i'm going in in the paid version will be like substack or maybe um it will be like mailchimp okay maybe substack or mailchimp one of the two okay at this point in time i don't know much where am i going to take this api obviously that will be so if you are using it okay if you love it and you are using it and also you are some sort of commenting to say that matthew can you add this can you add this um for instance some of the things that um i'm thinking about um to to send multiple emails let's say you've got your substack list here so you can export your substack users that means you've got a list of emails and you want to send some emails to them programmatically okay since here at this point in time i don't know if i can do that but here i only send um the emails like here okay so you will have at least 100 of them and then you are going to use uh coded mail you are going to use coded mail 
to send those let's say to more than 500 and then this will now have to to change and accommodate that okay so um enough about that so when you're here in the documentation guys um you can come here okay about this is about me okay as you can see i've got um some 12 hour coaching course i can teach you exactly what you want to know and also here is one of my videos on my youtube channel maybe when you are here this video won't be this html css can you guess which one is it going to be the one that you are watching so that if somebody doesn't really understand this documentation and then they can just come here and click this video and watch and understand guys i am matthew singati the designer and developer from south africa okay so if this was helpful um uh, I'm, I'm i'm happy with that um so what you can do uh i've got a course here on udemy uh, i've got some courses here so as a support you can just uh come here as you can see guys i've got this course react advanced component composition okay and also i've got this one which is next j at chat cn ui in case you appreciate this work okay in case you appreciate this work and you would want to support me please guys come here at udemy search matthew singati and this is my course see you on the next one